before we start with the chapter we'll talk of frederick soros depiction of what was happening in europe soros was in fact a french artist who painted four prints in 1848 and here he tried to depict what people had seen what had actually happened and what were they looking forward to so this was a beautiful print the first print that soru actually painted and in this he showed that the people of europe and the people of america they were marching forward in a long queue like a train many of them the masses had come forward and they were paying homage to the statue of liberty why were they paying homage to the statue of liberty because they felt that now they had become independent free and could actually do what they wanted to so they were thanking the statue of liberty the statue of liberty at that time was actually a symbol of the french revolution and this statue of liberty was seen as a lady who had a torch of enlightenment in one hand and the rights of man and citizen a book a declaration on the other hand if you remember your class 9 history the chapter french revolution you will immediately recollect the rights of man and citizen which came out after the french revolution so here the statue of liberty when it was showing the torch of enlightenment it meant awakening and when it meant it was showing the right of man and citizen on the other hand it showed that all the people irrespective of all the differences were one now on the ground of the same print was a shattered remain of the absolutist regime a lady who was lying down on the ground and the crown which was there fallen on the ground which showed that the old absolutist monarchical government which was cruel in nature did not look after the welfare of the people had now demolished dashed to the ground now the people who were marching how did he show them that he wanted to show that all the people in those who were marching like a train they all belong to different nations but all of them were very happy so when he wanted to show that they belong to different nations he showed them carrying flags of their own countries and wearing the national costume of their country so he also painted them in their national costume and also showed them carrying the flag of their own country now the people who led this march were the people of united states and switzerland why because they had already turned into nation states followed by france which had just become free which had just become a nation state so this french artist clearly depicted that the people of france were happy that europe was happy because it had got liberation from the past torture of the autocratic rule of the governments or the rulers that they had i continue in the next clipping